Well, it's mailbag. Uh, more like mail mountain. So uh, let's dig right in and take the first package. And this comes from Taipei. Okay, that's very nice. And it is. Ooh. Anti-static tweezers. Uh, okay. Let's go for that. With that for the moment. Anti-static tweezers. And here. Anti-static tweezers. Wow. Well, I must say, as a protective cover, it's ESD, which is not quite hard because uh, it is feels like metal. So there's no plastic; it's all metal. And uh, I don't know, yeah, these are dangerous. Yeah. So uh, this is for enhancing my <laughs> attempts in SMD soldering. Um, yeah, but uh, all metal, this is just blackened and they seem to do their job quite well. Um, okay, don't forget the protective cover. And, uh, okay, another pair of tweezers. Uh, not quite the same. So they are a little bit more blunt and, uh, yeah, again, all metal, so no ESD problem. And they seem to work also quite well. Wonderful. And okay, what's that? I mean, obviously, also some anti static tweezer because it sets so on the box. Ah, no. You know what that is? That's a Max 66. 7.5 breakout board for key type K type thermocouples and uh, this should be compatible with uh, Arduinos somehow. It came with a uh, uh, yeah. nice cable to connect it to your Arduino, I guess. And <laughs> it comes with a screw in. Hopefully K-type thermocouple. So I have no idea what, uh, what kind of thread that is. I will find out shortly. It comes with a length of, uh, yeah, one and a half feet or so uh, of cable. But uh, yeah, a nice screw-in sensor. Hmm. So for all my uh, metric viewers, uh, this has certainly the right diameter to be a M5 thread, but it's not. I guess this is something imperial and I probably have to, uh, uh, yeah, have to figure out what that exactly is. Yeah, but anyway, uh, we're not finished that uh, with that package, I think. I'll put it aside. We still have oh 
two more of these. Oh. That makes a total of five. Okay. First package done. Um, now let's have a look at the uh, eBay listing. So, uh, sorry, German eBay, but uh, yeah. Tweezers, anti-static, ESD, whatever, all steel, uh, for a buck, uh, free shipping uh, from Hong Kong, and the name of the seller, because he ships worldwide, was Shihuk Piao 2. I guess there's a Shihuk Piao 1 somewhere on this planet. And yeah, there we have the um, Max 6675, that's a key type thermocouple uh, module for Arduino. These were a little bit more expensive, uh, 267 and um, yeah, obviously the uh, same seller. Yeah, a lot of promotion for him. <laughs> um, and okay, the other tweezers uh, that were the... Uh, interestingly, uh, he says uh, in German, uh, it's an extra fine tip and uh, this was actually the blunt one. And for the other tweezers, he writes nothing about extra fine tip. And that was the really, really sharp one with really sharp tips. Uh, oh, wow. oh, sorry, that was German. I meant ouch. Um, yeah, moving on. So the next one comes from Kyrgyz, uh, from the country of, sorry, I'm butchering that, Kyrgyzstan. That's Eastern Europe. That's uh, east of Russia. <laughs> uh, I guess bordering to China. So, yeah. New ways, and these are, ah, I guess they were cheap because these are again 10. If I'm guessing right, ten thermocouples, K type, hopefully, but uh with another attachment method, a ring. So you can screw it to something, which is very handy if you want to have it stationary, measuring the temperature of a heat sink, for example. Yeah, just an idea. And these should be, let's see, Uh, okay, obviously for high temperature, yeah, steel outside and some, uh, yeah, this, if this is plastic, it doesn't feel like normal plastic or silicon in that case. This is almost ceramic. I have no idea what that is. And that is exactly three meters, uh, sorry, three feet, one meter, about in length, exactly as described. This is again a bucket piece and it's a K-type thermocouple and uh, the seller is Wear Technology. 
great. And uh, well, he said uh, it says it comes from China, but obviously it didn't came from China, but uh, he, he ships to America, Europe, Asia, Australia. So if you need cheap thermocouples, uh, yeah, with a nice attachment method, that's your thing. Moving on. Uh, maybe that's a Chinese Kyrgyzstan. Is that a Chinese province? I have no idea. I guess I have to, to look it up. But this is... Ah. Yeah. I mean, no comment. Uh, Captain Tape. Yeah, I ordered Captain Tape. Uh, 33 meters, which should be a uh, good 100 feet or uh, over 100 yards. Uh, 30 millimeters, so a uh, little one and one fifth of an inch, and 50 millimeters, which is three fifths of an inch and yeah that stuff is normally expensive but uh is that stuff good mm, time will tell or i will tell you as soon as i tested it and the listing for that yeah here i have it so the 50 millimeters was 242 i don't have uh, the listing uh, comes in different sizes and uh, yeah it comes from Shanghai China eh, I don't believe it uh, but the seller again is and he delivers everywhere not to the US but to Canada and Australia uh, the seller is amazing box so uh, just out of interest a little geography in between so uh, about here is shanghai uh, where uh, the last two mailbags came from and instead of uh, flying the stuff out or shipping it out uh, to germany via uh, yeah <clears throat> the whole globe to yeah some port here at the coast um, they obviously ship it on land to Kyrgyzstan, where it is repacked or re-stamped and then comes uh, probably somewhere on the landway straight to Germany. Yeah, I mean, um, if you if you are not aware, but um, <clears throat> I think there there are uh, big railway projects in progress, which will link Europe to China, so that trade can be done uh, by railroad freight car instead of uh, air freight or uh, shipping yeah well uh, just in between you know so so the next package i fear is from germany but uh we won't probably not ship overseas and it contains Ah, okay. Ah, this is finally, hopefully, thermal glue. So, thermally conductive and uh, heat resistant glue. And we have, um, oh my god, the packaging. We have a 
dangerous device. Oh, okay, you can see. Uh, yeah, it's it's an Arduino. I think it's the mini or something like that. So in an ESD bag, but then put into a, a non ESD foam, whatever. Yeah, and uh, yeah, just a cute little Arduino. Yeah, nano. What else? And it comes with an USB cable. I mean, that's helpful. I mean, yeah, it's an USB cable. And that was the, uh, yeah, Arduino Nano for 479 Europe's and uh, the guy sits here in Germany but he ships worldwide and uh, the name was Salesman Kuri and the second item from him were for three forty nine that uh, thermal glue yeah, well, it's, it's okay, and uh, it's 10 grams, and it comes in two pieces of uh, 5 grams, which is uh, maybe not a bad idea. Thermal conductivity 0.975 in watts per millikelvin. Whatever that means, I only know watts per kelvin. Um, yeah, thermal impedance, uh, I mean, mm, it will work. Uh, gravity, so it can have, oh. ah, density, 2.3 grams per cubic centimeters. Dry time, oh, that's important. Dry time at 25 degrees is, uh, Five to fifteen minutes, tensile strength, whatever megapascal is. Uh, yeah, shear strength. Okay, so it loses things together. Dielectric strength is probably um, not something you something you should rely on, because it's ten kilovolt per millimeter. But uh, you probably use that in a very 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 thin film if you glue something to right. Together, operating temperature. That's the other important thing. Sixty to two hundred fifty degrees Celsius. Okay, so we'll see how good that stuff is in reality. Next one. Uh, this is also from. This is zipper says zipper sorry I was zoomed in zipper zipper now I'm a little bit flabbergasted oh okay um yeah that's uh not the electronic item you were looking for. These are just, <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, maybe uh, I can look up the Amazon listing. Um, these are just, uh, you know, little clamps. Oh, and they are super hard to work. And uh, you can Hang things from it. Uh, no, that uh, that uh, was really a household item. <clears throat> Just was also sent from wherever. China probably. Sorry, but uh, uh, 
Maybe you're interested in the... Uh, yeah, I'll put the listing up. So here's the Amazon listing for it. Uh, curtain clips, curtain rings, clip metal, and hanging hook, uh, whatever. 20 pieces for 99 cents uh, plus 1 euro shipping to Germany. And this was sold by D-Markt. Mm, sounds German. I have no idea if that is available in other countries. You'll find out. Numero next. Oh, this is kind of heavy. And it's from... Yeah. This is proper Chinese pick, uh, stamp. Yeah, let me in. Okay. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, that's a kit. No. Uh, yeah. You can screw something together here. And it's all magnetic. And I already snapped one magnet <laughs> out. Okay, so the idea here is to use these as magnetic feet. Yeah, and, and one magnet is uh, is broken, obviously. Yeah, shit happens. <clears throat> so, this has a built-in PTC heating element. Can you see that? Yes, you can, uh, which should be rated at uh, Captain Tape <laughs> at uh, 300 watts and should regulate the whole thing to 300 degrees Celsius. Um, yeah. And is that the desk or is that the feet? I don't know. Probably both. So I have here a spare magnet. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now it's flat on the surface, uh, so this will heat up to uh, 300 degrees regulated and you can do, uh, do use it for solda jobs like, uh, you know, um, whatever. Uh, put your PCB on here and uh, yeah, the uh, solder paste will melt down or something along, uh, along the lines. I'm not going to use it for that, but uh, yeah. And here's the listing for it. So 300 watts, uh, 220 volts, uh, should, should survive 230, which is the usual uh, mains AC voltage now here in Germany, uh, PTC, yeah, heating element, and uh, it was uh, 389 plus 159 shipping, and it ships to America and Europe, that is, uh, you might get one too, and it's sold by WWLF, 7382.
there was a second page yes there is so uh, it's it's brand new uh, material it's aluminium obviously uh, the legs are steel otherwise they w the magnets wouldn't hold in would they uh, yeah the PTC element blah 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 uh, so it should deliver maximum power of 300 watts and it's for 220 volts not 110 sorry and it should reach that temperature after 30 seconds mm, yeah okay that's that's a whole lot of aluminium to heat up so uh, we believe that and should reach 250 degrees celsius plus minus 10. no thermostat needed and the biggest one for last uh, comes actually from germany and it's Oh. Well, it's obviously made in China, uh, but it's a stainless steel, whatever you call it, it's supposed to be stainless steel, and it's lightweight and it's thin. Sorry and reflective and it serves one purpose if you saw me etching my after 30 years or 35 years or so first circuit board uh, i ran into a problem with the temperature of the etching solution um yeah uh, card link and um i'm etching in these uh yeah, these are meant for developing, uh, yeah, photos, I mean, chemical based photos, not digital photos. And in the moment, um, obviously, you, you can't put that on a heating plate. And uh, yeah, I'm using um, N2S208 uh, for etching. You can put that on a heating pay, uh, plate, but you can put it, moment of truth, into a water bath and it fits perfectly. Not bad. Uh, could, could be a few millimeters bigger, but I, I really needed something uh, watery here in between nothing more nothing less and now everything comes together um, by the way the uh, yeah heating plate glued to the back with the um, I can't find it uh, that thermal glue and uh, lots of stuff to measure temperature with an Arduino. <laughs> yeah, and uh, somewhere I have a triac and uh, stuff. So yeah, uh, got sidetracked again. Sorry. Um, anyway, the listing. So that was. Uh, for 469 uh, a stainless steel bowl tray you tell me uh, from I'm always here I'm always here <laughs> okay um, yeah, but uh, this item is only shipped within the European Union. So, yeah, sorry. Yeah, 
review of a uh, <laughs> whole lot of things at once. Uh, this is the um, PTC heating plate with a PTC heating element, 300 watts, 250 degrees Celsius. Uh, this is my Bryman with the original Bryman K-type temperature probe. This is uh, going around here and screwed in here. One of those uh, K-type temperature probes with a, a yeah, washer type thingy uh, to screw them to something. This is the Captain tape I bought. We will see uh, when this is starting to smoke. Hopefully not at 250 degrees Celsius. So we are testing one, two, three things at once. And uh, this is from an old mailbag. I haven't used it yet. <laughs> uh, a power meter. Um, yeah, uh, card link. And now I switch that on and you will see I connected uh, mains earth just in case. You never know. So here goes nothing. And this is upside down, which is a little bit So it, it's, it's really sucking 200, can you see that, 230 watts, of course, tendency going down 200 watts, it's not bad. And temperature is up to 145 and yeah it's, it's warm and you see the other sensor is yeah the upper one is the one uh, from eBay it's lagging behind uh, there could be several reasons for that um, I don't blame the sensor right now I sh probably should have uh, screwed it also on the top because now it has on one side it's heated on the other side it has a real good heat sink with that uh, feed which is also getting hot so the captain tape is at 200 degrees Still holding up. But yeah, we're still drawing about ninety two watts. Temperature is still climbing for both sensors. And I, I would like to, uh, to say, okay, I leave that here for half an hour until everything is in, in, in equilibrium, but uh, yeah, uh, probably not, huh? So yeah, um, the captain tape is holding at a temperature of 220 Celsius, which is not bad. We're still drawing about yeah, 80 watts. Uh, this is just the heat dissipation, which is okay. Um, yeah, the other sensor slowly climbed up to 190 degrees C. Um, what I will do now, I will let that cool down and then I screw the uh, other sensor uh, on top to see if we get uh, the same measurement, about the same measurement. 
Okay, uh, we're down to body temperature, uh, 35, 36 degrees, depending on which sensor. You will be believe um, the 35 degree upper one is the one from eBay. And uh, yeah, to make it more fair, they are now basically at the same position, almost dead center of the plate. I removed the metal stuff because uh, that also got very hot uh, as a heat sink uh, through the feet. Yeah, all in good fairness. And then we have now a close look at the power consumption when we switch that on. And it is Uh, hello. Ah, and it is 200. Oh, 300 watts, 280. Okay, uh, so it, uh, when it's really cool, room temperature, it jumps. I think uh, I saw. I have to review that on the video, 350 watts, but uh, that would be enormous. So now it's going down as the temperature rises and you see the eBay sensor is lagging behind, but let's see. I mean, it has a bigger thermal mass and uh, I'm not really sure where uh, the actual thermocouple is located, maybe a little bit off here. So yeah, we'll see. So yeah, uh, 233, oh no, no, it's, it's gaining a little bit, 35, oh, maybe we give it a little bit longer. Okay, I don't think, uh, I have the window open and a little bit wind is uh, going over here and obviously cooling it down. So uh, 200, it maxes out at 240 and it, it's quite warm here, 28 degrees Celsius or so. And uh, the captain tape helps up really good. So yeah, thumbs up for the captain tape. Um, that thing here, yeah, uh, yeah, almost, I mean, it's at plus minus 10%, so, uh, it's within spec, it comes up to 240 degrees, which is nice, and, uh, but, uh, at the beginning, I have to review that, uh, I was sure it was drawing more than 300 watts at the moment, just keeping the temperature without load, it's drawing about 80 watts. So yeah, what the heck. Um, the K-type sensor with the washer head, um, okay, don't touch that, uh, yeah. I suspect the thermocouple is somewhere in here. And that means that you have quite a differential at the moment. Uh, yeah, over 20 degrees Celsius between uh, the temperature of the washer and uh, depending what the ambient temperature here is. So if you use such a thing as a temperature sensor and you want to be as close as possible to the temperature of the washer, you probably have to put some thermal isolation around it. But otherwise an ambient temperature, it uh, went absolutely plus minus one degree uh, synchronous with the original Bryman stuff. So. Uh, 
yeah, that's okay, I guess. A little addendum concerning this PTC heating plate. It's not completely flat. If you look at this and I try to zoom in, yeah. You see it's a wee bit curved and of course for the intended use that's not a problem but uh, for I want to use it uh, glue it to the bottom of that uh, stainless steel bowl to heat water in it it's not so good and I guess it's because of the manufacturing method I mean, this profile was straight, I guess, and then they put in the PTC element and then they squeeze it together to get the bottom part down, squeezing the PTC element in. And thereby, I guess, uh, they bent the whole thing a little bit. Well, something that can be corrected, I hope. Last but not least, the Arduino clone, the Max 6675 uh, K-type temperature module with, yeah, it comes with that uh, screw-in sensor. And the good news is it's working. Yeah. So uh, Fahrenheit and Celsius, and these values are absolutely within reason. Um, the bad news uh, regarding the little nano, um, there were a few drawbacks. Um, first of all, I had, and I'm using Windows 7 with a reasonably up-to-date version of the uh, Arduino environment and I had to download the serial to USB driver from, uh, can you read that? Probably not. Uh, wch.cn uh, they obviously make the chips or cheaper chips which are used in these Chinese Arduinos. Well anyway um, after downloading that driver and I'll put a link uh, in the description to that page at least the USB to serial was recognized by Windows 7. However, in the Arduino environment, yeah, I'll zoom in in a second, that nano board is not automatically recognized when you uh, select the serial port where it should be connected. You have to manually select the serial port. Uh, it doesn't recognize that thing. Um, yeah, beyond that, uh, it all worked fine. Here's the uh, sample code for the whole thing. And I also put a link uh, in the description uh, to the page where all this is uh, described in detail. So, yeah, an almost thumbs up for that combo. I mean, uh, the module and the temperature sensor is uh, 
absolutely okay. Um, it's the first time ever that I bought a Chinese Nano. I always bought the original Arduino or Genuino Nanos and uh, of course I never had trouble with them. So I was a little bit unused uh, to being forced to install uh, USB to serial drivers and search around for the right driver. But uh, anyway, it works. So, bye.